Hello everyone and welcome back to the French Cooking Academy channel and cooking classes. As you can see, you, you can't see me today because we are concentrating on a culinary technique or a cooking technique. Today, we learn how to prepare or to make duck legs confit in French. Huh? This is called cuisse de canard confit. This is a specialty usually coming from the southwest, but it's spread out all of uh, France. This recipe is actually very easy to make. It's a long-winded process because it goes in two stages. First stage, we need to cure the meat for 24 hours with a spiced salt using these ingredients. And in the second part, we need to cook the recipe. For the ingredients, uh, the hard uh, things to find sometimes is this, the duck fat. You need duck or goose fat and a lot of it. Uh, usually it's around one liter for four duck legs. So that's quite a lot. And for the spiced salt, we're going to be using rock salt, different peppercorn, juniper berries, thyme, bay leaf, and I'm going to grind all that using a petrol mortar. You can use a food processor as well. Let's see how this is done. And now let's start the recipe. Now, before we do anything uh, today, it is very important to stress again that before you do any preparation, you have to wash your hands in general. But today I'm stressing it again because it's super important because we're going to be using our hands and we're going to be handling raw meats that we're going to rub with a salt and then put in the fridge for 24 hours. And then it's going to be used and served to guests. So you don't want to contaminate anything. So wash your hands you know, uh, really well before you start. Now we're gonna start uh, by making the salt and the spiced salt. There's different ways of making it. Uh, I'm using rock salt and I'm just gonna grind it slowly uh, using a, uh, like this, a pestle and mortar. And I'm just going in circles like this. And don't like tap like this, uh, you know, like a, like a crazy person. And the, the, usually the use of the pestle and mortar, you can tap a little bit, but it's just that circling motion. So we're going to start by circling like that. You can use a food processor if you want, but that's, you know, that's rewarding to do this by hand until we get a nice kind of semi coarse salt. Okay, so what I've got here, huh? I'm using my hand because they're nice and clean. You can see there's the kind of uh, roughness. I don't grind it all the way because there's other ingredients we're going to put in and mainly a little bit of uh, peppercorns and mixed with juniper berries. And I'm just using uh, these ingredients to keep the recipe classic. Juniper berries, they are actually uh, very, very good for game. Mm -hmm. uh, so here again, it is the matter of crushing slightly the berries and everything like that and the peppercorn. And then taking your time on doing that grinding again. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that again, another grind. The pepper and the juniper, uh, juniper berries are in. That's what we get. Oh, nicely colored, nicely fragrant. And now we're going to add a little bit of thyme. There's roughly about like, you know, I would say like a teaspoon. I'm just using a dry thyme, like maybe a teaspoon of a dry thyme, not too much. And then a few bay leaves. You see, I've got, got some broken ones, three or four. It doesn't really matter. So I'm breaking down like that. And then I'm going to do again a final grind oh, using my pestle and mortar here. I don't know if that's the pestle. No, that's the mortar, I think. I don't know. But anyway, you got the idea. You grind the whole thing until it's done. All done. And this is my end result. So as you can see, there are pieces uh, of bay leaves and they're not like pulverized or anything like this, but that's okay. It's gonna go on the meat and don't get alarmed by the amount of salt. But after the curing, it's discarded. Huh? So it's all good now. Let's coat the duck leg with that mix. At the second stage, I've transferred my salt into a container, it's, it's more practical. And basically from here, we're just gonna uh, make sure that there is salt and spices everywhere. So I start, you can start on either side. I'm, I'm, I'm starting with one side, a generous amount of salt. And then using our hands again, it's, we're gonna massage uh, the duck. Give it a little massage, you know, don't be shy. And they like this, huh? the, the, the legs, huh? nice and tender. Huh? So we're going to incorporate the salt and make sure like this, it's everywhere. Massaging the meat. Um, Japanese style, you know, like, uh, they like to do this. So you get the idea. And then we turn them around and we're going to repeat the process. 
Look at this lovely duck leg. So same thing here. Boom. You don't have to, you know, if you have a bit of excess of salt, I'd rather have too much than too little, to be honest. And it is discarded, I'm stressing this, it is discarded afterwards. So don't think like, oh my god, it's gonna be super salty. No. You know, it's, it's like uh, certain fish that are kept in salt and things like that, you know. Alright, so same thing, very quick massage. And then we're gonna put them in an other container and make sure it's everywhere. So this is basically the result of a leg that's been done, cured, and you got the salt everywhere, it's nicely spiced up. Finally, when our uh, duck legs are ready, and we have to wrap them up in some uh, plastic like that. So you can use one plastic uh, over the three legs, but from the books I've read, the preferred method is to really, really wrap your duck legs tight. I didn't do a great job here. And individually wrap them to make sure there's not like much uh, contact to the air. So I'm pressing them down like that. So I'm gonna repeat the process for all the legs. And we are done. Look at this, how simple was that? Huh? So I've got my duck leg, huh? it's totally wrapped up. Huh? And you, get, you can see all the spices in there, the meat, the salt, and that's gonna give some flavor, that's gonna cure the meat. And we're gonna leave this in the fridge for 24 hours, ideally. Now if you want, you can vary the spice, you can look online, there's other recipes, but the technique is you have to cure first and then cook. So we're gonna leave them to rest 24 hours, and then we'll con continue the recipe when it's done. And now for the stage two, so 24 hours have passed, and here's the meat again, as we left it before. So what we're gonna do is unwrap it, and as you can see, there's a lot of moisture that come out, and this is the goal also of, um, of this salt, huh, is to remove the excess of moisture. So what we need to do here is to really try to dry the meat as much as we can, and then remove the excess of salt and herbs and stuff like that uh, from the top. Yeah, so you can use a brush like this, or you can use your hands. If you really don't want to have anything on there, uh, some of the techniques consist actually of rinsing uh, <coughs> your duck legs uh, under clear water. For me though, you know what? I like to keep the seasoning on, so I'm just gonna remove the excess like that for each leg, and then clean that plate and reserve them neatly one by one on that plate here. My duck legs are now uh, cleaned, yeah, I've removed the excess, and as you can see, I want you to have a closer look. It's not like they're covered in salt or anything like that. I still have a few of these herbs that gives it really a rustic look. And if you look at the skin, you know, there's no salt. Huh? It's been nice and dry, nicely cured, and now we're ready to cook this. So we're gonna go on the stove and start the cooking process with the duck fat. We're now ready to cook the duck leg. So there's different techniques. Uh, some people uh, like to do this in the oven. When you begin, it is important uh, to use a thermometer because this has to be a very low temperature cooking. So in fact, uh, your duck fat usually uh, cannot boil. It must barely be simmering. So you need to have the temperature set at all times at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 90, 95 degrees, well, let's say more than 95 degrees Celsius. So you start with a pan, okay, I'm using the cast iron Le Creuset, and you take your uh, duck fat, and I'm gonna use about a liter, and I'm just gonna try to detach uh, some of the fat if I can from that box. And you're gonna add it slowly, melting it in the pan, and we're gonna first try to reach our sweet point like temperature before we do anything else. So you put all of the duck fat in, I'm gonna be using almost a liter, and then I'll show you the result. Okay, Houston, we are at 80, it's going uh, slowly towards 90 degrees, so what I'm gonna do now is to add a few aromatics in the oil. Uh, I've got three uh, garlic cloves, two bay leaves in there, so I'm just gonna you know, mix around, that's all you need to give some flavor. And then I'm gonna add my duck legs in. And I'm gonna put the skin down, like that. And then another one. And then put them all in. Now, 
for the cooking of these, what I recommend for the heat, put your heat on the lowest uh, setting you can. Okay? Because like this, you're sure you're not going to go over because it's very easy. As you can see, you, see, you can see I'm already at 90 here. So really put the heat on the lowest of the lowest temperature. And some guys say that can be cooked even at 80 degrees Celsius, which is about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So don't take any chances to, to have that grease to boil. Always keep the temperature as low as you can. Uh, so lowest it. So my uh, duck is now in here. I'm going to have to put some parchment paper to make sure it's nicely covered. I'm going to have to put some weight on to make sure the duck leg stays submerged in the fat. For the final step, as I said, I'm taking a parchment paper lead. Uh, I'm going to put in my fat like that. And the reason I'm doing this is because on top I'm going to put like a weight. And this is going to be in the shape of that handy kind of lead that I've got so I can still grab it and the rest is going to be submerged in oil. And here starts the cooking time, two hours minimum and to cook these duck legs. So for me I'm going to count two hours depending on how many you have. It can take up to two, two and a half. Extreme would be three hours. Uh, so we're going to check after two hours if they're nice and tender they will be cooked. So I'll see you then in two hours time. Okay guys this has been Two and a half hours in the mix, I've opened the lid and everything. Uh, the legs are cooked, but for me, you know what? I don't think it's cooked enough. Uh, I had the idea that the, the confit of duck was really falling off the bone. As you can see, it detaches, but it would need another... Mm, yeah, I think another half hour. So you see two hours, not enough. So definitely, at slow cooking like this, you're talking about three hours, two and a half and three hours. So I'm going to wait again and take them out when they're ready. All right, so it's been three hours. The legs are ready. And as you can see on, on, on that side here, you see how it detaches and you see the bone? That's really the sign that uh, they are ready. So usually, you're going to grab the legs. You see, that's how they look like. Yeah. And we're going to reserve them in an earthware. Now, just to give you a little look of the, of the leg on here, that's how it looks like. Now usually, uh, there's two things you can do at this stage. Or you can keep the legs and uh, keep them in the fridge or let them cool down and keep them for let's say a week before consumption, I think up to a week easily. And if you do that, you're gonna put all of the legs in here in an earthware, filter your grease over the leg let the fat solidify and then you can store them in the fridge and it can be kept easily for a week. So you can make this way in advance. If like me, you want to uh, consume the duck legs directly and you can just take them out, drain them on something, maybe a little bit of paper towel on a plate or something. And then we're going to pan fry them and to give the, the skins a little crispiness before we can serve them. Okay. So in my case, I'm going to use that option. We're going to use them now. So we're going to go to the next stage that if you are about to serve them, how to crisp the skins. All right, so when you're ready to serve your uh, duck legs, uh, you take a frying pan. You can also doing, uh, doing it under the broiler, but it's all the matter of getting these skins uh, on that side a bit crispy. So I'm just going to leave this without any oil. And for just five minutes or so, I'm going to leave it there without moving it around to just get this nice crispy skins. Now I've just turned over my uh, leg and from what you can see here, the pan fried version give you that kind of flatness. It's nice and brown, but to be honest, I'm not sure it's the best one. So let me try another one under the broiler and we'll compare both versions. And there we have it, both version. Here is the broiler version. This is the pan fried version. You can choose either way you want. The result is pretty much the same. What I can say is that there was much more uh, duck fat that came out under the broiler. It was really bubbling away. While on the pan fried, it seemed to just dry up the skin and that was about it. But in terms of the meat, uh, I think inside the result is gonna be the same. So let's plate this up and see how we can eat that.
And here we are. So how do we eat those? Well, a lot of people will eat them with uh, potatoes. You can do the pan fried potatoes, but really for me, you know what? I like the very, very simplistic version with just a green salad. That may surprise you, but I only like to eat those with a piece of salad. So you can either just serve the, the leg like this. And for me, that's it, a bistro style type of, of, you know, of leg. And the most important here, when you get this, is to really have the meat recooked. So look at that. So what we want to see here is this. That with a spoon, look at this, it is falling off the bone. This is what we mean. Look at that meat. And it is really heavy. And it's, remember, it's cooked in fat, so you don't want to have... Let me try that. It's nicely seasoned, so there's really no need to add anything at all. I know it looks simplistic, but for me, really, the only thing that can cut through the fat of these is this French dressing with a little bit of duck confit like this, and at this, a glass of wine, and you're done. Mm, beautiful. Simple pleasures. That's what it's all about. So this is the, the side here, and if you want to have it and see the other side, that's like this. And you can serve, serve it any way you like. Of course, this is not too pretty, sorry, because I've been <laughs> detailing this thing. And if you want, you can add some tomatoes and stuff like that. But really, honestly, for me, it doesn't need much. It just needs to be just all about the meat. But anyway, guys, I hope you got enough information today on how to make this confit leg and this confit of dog. You know, the cooking times, remember, two hours, 30 minutes, if you're not gonna consume them immediately, meaning that you're gonna put them in the pot, cover them in grease and let them cool down. If you want to eat them straight away, I recommend three hours at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. But that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I see you all next time on another Christmas-like video. I'm going to run for Christmas. And the next time we're gonna make another dessert, which is actually the pears in red wine. Subscribe request. I'll see you all then. Take care. Bye-bye.